In this video, we're going to be installing DaVinci Resolve 16 Public Beta. Hey guys, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So if you looked at one of my previous videos, we talked about how to back up all your databases in DaVinci Resolve. And that's just one of those things, a yearly type of thing that you might want to do, or even more frequently if you're doing a lot of stuff. Another reason might, why you might want to bite the, another reason why you might want to back up your databases is when a brand new version of DaVinci Resolve comes out. Um, so far, I haven't been able to run old versions and new versions at the same time. So when you install one, it wipes out the old. So I like having everything backed up. So if anything happens, I can always go back to the old version. But Blackmagic Design announced today that DaVinci Resolve 16 is available today with a public beta with a lot of awesome features that I am really looking forward to. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and walk through the whole process of installing it. So I already got it downloaded. So let's go ahead and switch over to my screen here. So what I'm going to do is this is 15. Can't have them running while that's going on. All right, here we go. And let's just go ahead and double click on that. And please, 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 if you're doing this, please make sure that you have backed up your databases. Because again, it's a beta for a reason, meaning that it's still things that they're working on. Everything is done. So let's go ahead and finish. All of my icons have been replaced and these are the new ones. So let's go ahead and let's open this up. Now I am going to be running dual screens right now because that's normally how I do it. So let me get my ATEM set up over here so that I can properly switch between the two. For those who've been watching, I have switched back to my main system is running an RTX 2080. That's what's running right now. The Radeon 7 is failing on me again. So I rolled that over to my streaming system and I've been I'll talk about that. You, if you look up the Radeon 7, there's more than enough people to complain about what's going on with it. All right, so we're here. And just as anything like I've done before, this is the reason why you back this up, is it needs to upgrade our databases. So if we roll this back, these will not work in the previous version. That's why you back this stuff up. So if anything goes awry, I can always roll back to the backups that I made um, earlier today all right so we just go ahead and click upgrade now really straightforward to do these are all of my smaller databases so they don't really take that long um, my main church one and my youtube one is the one that's probably going to take a little bit longer but i'm just thinking from an up I don't know what it's actually doing to upgrade. If I really want to be nerdy, I can open up um, my IDE and look at the comparisons. But my days of looking at databases and stuff like that are over with. I'm not interested in that. So, all right, let's go ahead and let's open up a video that we already worked on. So this is the um, making a church video live result. So let's see what this one looks like. So we just click on that and open it up. And of course I can't find the video because I've since moved these files. Um, so let me go back here and let's locate these files first so that we can actually do something. So we're good, all right? So the first thing you notice is our buttons down here. We still have media as usual, but this is the cut where we have our two timelines where it says you don't have to zoom in. Um, so this is interesting. I'm just thinking that when I'm thinking from a standpoint of when I'm doing finding the beginning and the end of a church service, I would normally would zoom in and zoom out to find where the stuff is. I need to see how that will work in my workflow. Um, 
just off the top of my head, I can't see why I would, how I'll add this in here, because obviously it was added for a reason, um, but this is something I probably need to play back around with some more. Um, but let's go here to preferences first before I jump ahead. First thing I notice here, before I even get to preferences, there's a check for updates. So the days of having to keep going to the website to see if there are an update is gone. You can click on check updates here, which is cool. All right, let's look at preferences now. All my preferences moved over. The F drive is the NVMe that I moved over. Um, as you can see, like I said, this is the RTX 2070 that I have on here. Automatically set. Memory is fine. Storage, decoding, uh, video and audio looks exactly the same. Audio plugins, same. Control panels, these ones I'm not using. Um, general, same. Internet accounts. This is the part where you allow you to publish directly, which I am thrilled about. Um, so let me go ahead and log into my accounts here. Pretty much what I'm seeing with this is, at least for me, I have multiple channels, multiple clients that I handle. Um, that would mean that I would have to come in here and sign out and sign back in anytime I need to change to something different, which is fine. Um, and boom all right advanced the same now we're gonna that was system now let's go to user uh, this is fine my live backups are still good um backing up every 10 minutes smart bins automatic smart bins uh-huh color fairlight playback Oh, that's cool. All right. So what's this? Transitions. Okay. Titles. Okay. I like the fact that it actually is big enough that you can actually read these. So that's cool. All right. So this is something else I'm going to have to dabble with a little bit more. Uh, color science. What is this? Okay, this is the end result of our image here. Okay, that's that's interesting. Oh, they actually got it in portrait mode. That's cool. I remember having it when I used to do all this um, Instagram IGTV stuff. I would always change that. But that's cool that they have that present in there. Tools. Audio. Cropping, speed, camera, stabilization, dramatic zoom. Okay, so I guess this is like, a, just like another editor, it's just a faster editor. Okay. All right, let's go to edit here. And I'm in one screen, but I will switch that over at a later time. But let's just see, we got the same functions that we normally have. Okay, this really hasn't changed. Lens correction. Okay. I'm wondering. Okay, I clicked on it. Okay, you gotta double click on it to open it up. I mean, I like the fact that it's closed. Just a little sign that it's actually stuff listed under here would be nice for people who've never used this before. But okay. That's fine. Metadata, let's close this. Still the same. Mixer, okay. Which is cool, because I do not believe the mixer was there in the old version. Can't remember. Um, but I know I never really used it. But that's cool that it's there. Sound library. I can't remember if we had this in here before. I used to always add sounds, but let's see if we can just add our sounds here. Let me go to my Invatu folder and Audio Jungle. We'll select that folder. Let it scan. Maybe this will be a lot easier to where all my music is listed here instead. 
Alright, it says it has stuff. Yes. Okay. I can type my name and my stuff is there. So that's cool. I like this. And then, um, let's see. Can I add another folder in here? Okay. It links it to a given window. Okay. Hmm, it didn't save it. Okay, that's cool. So I have, I know this file, it's um, testing. Testing. Hello? Oh, see, I scared me. I didn't see the, I thought it stopped recording there for a second. Um, but here I'm seeing, I wonder if there's a way to change the view. There it is, but I need more detail because I have in these files is actually two of them are waves, two of them are MP3s, but it doesn't show which one is which. That's my intro music. Um, hmm. I wonder if I do. Yeah, there's no way to tell what type of file it is. I meant description. Yeah, I, I wish there was a um, different way to filter. I mean, I'm glad it's there, but it needs need a little bit more detail. But I will be using that. That saves a lot of time. All right, index. Okay, that's the same. Shows all your edits, effects. This is cool. My standards are all here. And then the view is a lot nicer just because it's big enough. And stars. Hmm, I don't recall those, but let me go ahead and check these off because I know. I use these a lot. And it's nice to be able to jump directly to them. And there's a favorites right here. Subtitles, cool. Generators. All right, there's some blurs and stuff like that. That's cool. I have to play around with some of these because some of these are locked out as well. All right, effects are cool. Media pool, ain't nothing different. You can make your smart bins here and things like that. So if I do graphics and we come out and do this, do it like this, do it like this. All right, and we can drag all that over here uh, so that's cool all right so like i said these are the the wave versions like i said here it shows it but in the other two it doesn't all right let's jump over here fusion is the same like i said i really haven't gotten in that much into this so i'm not the expert of telling you something that's different here color the main stuff that I normally use is here. Pretty, yep. The window, blur, keying. All of this is the same, so that's cool. Fairlight, 
again it's the same based off at least what I'm doing um, let's see did they add any new effects no no new effects so that's cool um, and we're on deliver so let's see let's say we pick YouTube and there is upload directly that's cool now I wonder from YouTube oh there it is your privacy settings so you can have it upload directly to private I always love upload my videos in private that's why I have enough time to come back and edit it and do everything before everybody sees it live so that's cool um, Vimeo doesn't have that option and that's fine um, and the only other thing that I've been dealing with is audio only let's see did they still haven't added mp3 I wish they would add that in here I mean they have wave which you can always convert down but I, I just wanted to get everything in one place because I'm almost there um, but I'm liking this so far so um, let me jump over and just look what it looks like with my dual screens here and go to our edit a little busy over here let me let you see the other screen here and actually hold on let me set it up the way I normally would because I actually do a full timeline here and then on this screen I have it set up to see all of my other stuff so it's a little busy over here oh well anyway this is something I'm gonna play with so like I said what I'm gonna do is the video for this I'm actually gonna use this and if I come across any issues I'll append my thoughts here at the end and I'm gonna use the tool to upload it directly to YouTube and just see how that goes so um, we will see if everything goes smoothly if it does I will let you know so let me get to editing So it's the next day and I, I mean I must say I mean I was pleasantly ple pleasantly surprised um, really nothing is different compared to what I normally do when it comes to editing um, really haven't had any issues and was able to upload this perfectly fine so um, I'm really liking this so far um, but as time will tell just like in DaVinci Resolve 15 there were multiple updates to this beta so um, probably not touching something that's actually gonna cause any issues right now but I'm gonna stay on this right now and just see how it goes um, thanks for stopping by guys if you like this kind of tour and DaVinci Resolve and uh, everything uh, I'll appreciate you hit the like button there and consider subscribing and hit that bell notification that way you get notified on any new videos that we come out with and pretty much when we do our church post production on Sunday our video announcements that are coming up this week and all other projects that I normally are working on I will be doing this on DaVinci Resolve 16 unless something major happens um, and also guys be aware that I'm actually setting up a private Facebook group so that way we can have like more of a detailed learning type of environment and build a community of other people who are in media ministries as well. Be on the lookout for that information. But anyway, that's about it guys. This is AJ and we will see you on the next video. Later. Later.